I'm not the best athlete ever, but I'm not that crazy. <laughs> okay, here we come. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, okay, okay. We are live now. So we can start, I think. Hmm? Yes. Okay, first of all, um, hi Giorgio, thank you very much for being here with us today. And as I said before, it's going to be a really informal talk, so just feel that you're at ease and don't be embarrassed at all, okay? Okay, um, we're going to start with some questions about yourself. So we, um, we know that um, you've been riding in something like 866 competitions. Uh, in three and four stars um, shows and you've ridden 44 different horses. It's a really impressive uh, CV <laughs> for somebody so young. <laughs> How can you say about this? What can you say about this? Yeah, it's great. I mean, um, I actually didn't expect to have uh, these results so quickly in my career, uh, but I'm very grateful to Shane and everyone at um, the Green team for giving me the opportunity to ride so many horses. Of course, and um, you you have uh, you are now in twenty fifth position in Fay ranking. This is like uh, the icing on the cake. Are you are you happy about this result? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, when uh, a few years ago, I'd always be looking, and I'd be pages and pages down, and it's nice to to see um, that you gradually are working up to the first few pages. <laughs> of course. So um, we really want to congratulate uh, of, you know, well, with you on these results and well done. Um, so we'll start with some different questions now. Um, so um, when did you start to compete? Did you expect these good results in, so, um, in such little time? No, I, um, well, I started um, very young. I left school when I was 14 to do riding full time. And um, I actually thought that I was uh, going to be quite behind everyone else because I never did um, much with ponies or anything like that. I did mainly like eventing or a bit of showing or dressage. Um, but then when I started got into show jumping, uh, everything happened very quick and yeah, it was, it was really great, especially when I, once I went to Shane's um, and I started to ride better horses and go to better shows and learn so much, um, but yeah, it's great. You are so brave to let school at this young age. Sorry, you. It was it was really brave on your side to left to leave school at such a young age. Yes. Um, well, I actually I didn't really plan much. Um, the pe people that I was training with at the time, I went to their yard for my summer holidays, and that's the first day I thought this is really what I want to do. And then by the end of the summer holidays, when I was meant to be going back to school, I was like, no way am I going back. <laughs> I really want to do it. I think that if I wanted to be able to, to do it at my full potential, then I had to put all of my time into that, rather than trying to, to juggle all the things. are exceeding your expectations actually aren't they definitely, definitely. um is there among the shows you've ridden in is then is there anyone in particular that you that you like the most sorry it keeps freezing i didn't hear what you said oh. Uh, I was saying that um, you've written in a lot of, sh of different shows. Is there anyone in particular that you feel most proud of? Um, I'd have to say uh, winning a Horse of the Year show in 2019. Um, that was a really, really great buzz. 
uh, and especially for it to be at home in England um, when before COVID, when you could have all the crowd and everything, it's it's really it's really great. And what about your next goal? Uh, which is the next goal you set to, to yourself? Um, well, my main aim is just to keep getting consistent results at the higher level. Um, but uh, I was, I've aimed myself for some more Senior Nations Cups this year, um, which then will hopefully in the future be able to then go to some Senior Championships. And on the long run, which are your, your goals in the future, for the future? Uh, to, to be at that championship level uh, and Super League level, that is definitely um, the aim. Okay, and um, why don't you tell us something about how your passion for horses were, was born? I mean, why horses? Well, I've always been around horses. My mum is actually a dressage rider. Oh. Uh, my dad is a farrier. So, um, uh, horses have always been a big part of my family and my life. And yeah, I just couldn't imagine not being around them. Of course. Um, you've ridden so many horses, as we said before. Is there one in particular or some, one or two in particular that uh, still are in your heart? Um, uh, my favorite one um, would have to have been uh, Cash Up. He was owned by Team Z7. Um, he was the horse that I did my first ever Young Rider Nations Cup, Nations Cup, Europeans, Five Star Grand Prix. Like, he just took me from jumping small to, to everything. <laughs> okay, and in, in show jumping, but in equestrian sports in particular, um, in general, uh, you are a team with your horse. It's not Yeah. sport. So how do you feel um, about what you do with the horse? How is your feeling with your horse while you ride? Well, every horse is different. Um, I have um, a mare called Quintella and she's, she's very hot. She's, mm -hmm. she's very sharp. Um, and with her, you have to be really relaxed and calming. And then my best horse, uh, Z7 Ascot, He's very laid back and chilled. So with him in the warm up, you need to you need to get him in front of the leg and get him kind of like really build him up for, for it. And he loves the atmosphere that really gets him um, going as well. So I think like uh, being able to adapt to to the different horses you can and being making them confident, um, then you're able to get get the best results. Of course. How do you build your relationship with your horses? Well, um, I work with them every day and I, I don't just ride them, but I also do a lot with them uh, on the ground. Like I take them to the paddock, I knock them out. That I, I, so I'm not just seeing them when I ride them, but I'm also seeing them like all, all, all the day as well. And find them the routine that, that makes that horse the happiest and keeps it the most relaxed as well, um, then, uh, yeah, that seems to work. <laughs> so it's not just about competitions, but also about taking care of the horse. Absolutely, yeah. And um, you said that being consistent is the most important thing for you uh, right now. Can you explain this, uh, this sentence? Um, well, yeah, being consistent is a big part of uh, like the end result. You can't you can't be one minute going really good and then really bad and then having uh, you know just so I think if you're able to to keep everything consistent and then you can work on a small thing each time to make it better, it makes it a lot easier and. Consistent results as well helps to to um, then get, get on and do. Something like that. 
Um, uh, we said that you left school very early. Um, can you tell us something about the first years uh, when you decided to, to leave school and to start being a full-time professional sportswoman? Yes, um, it, was, it was hard and, and tiring when you're that young to, to be working the long days. But um, it was definitely, definitely worth it. Um, and I, would, I wouldn't change it, I wouldn't have done anything different. Because I think if, if I hadn't have done that, then I uh, wouldn't be um, where I am today. Of course. Um, what were your days like, your routine? Uh, I'd get up, um, we'd start work at seven, so then hay, feed, uh, muck out, and then um, get on and ride however many horses needed to be ridden. Um, and then in the evening, uh, like the same again, finish off the horses and hay and feed them. Yeah. Uh, it must have been difficult, but your story somehow can be very inspiring for um, for the young people who dream about being a, a professional rider. Mm, yes. And when you you decide to to be part of the Young Riders Academy, you know, because I, I uh, think that it's difficult to to decide. Okay, I I will do it. Yes, I had um well with with cash up i'd really uh, got really confident and he'd made me really confident and i'd i'd done a few got a few good things um and then i was speaking with my my federation and they uh, nominated me to go forwards and actually the first year um i didn't get on uh, i was in Mannheim for the trials and I, I didn't get on, and then um, they invited me, invited me back again last year, last year, yeah, to to come back, and then um, I I was able to join the Young Riders Academy. <laughs> so you must be really proud of this. Yeah, it's it's a really great achievement um, to be able to to be on that, especially when. When you're young, you see everyone um, like Bertram Allen and everyone like that uh, being part of this academy, and then and then you're able to be part of it. It's really great. Uh, why do you think that it's important to be part of uh, the Young Riders Academy? You know, if if you if you could could explain to another young rider why uh, he he or she could try to 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 join the Young Riders. Well, yeah, you learn so much uh, through the Young Riders Academy, and it's not—it's not just uh, not, it's not all about riding a horse. You know, there's they give you so much um, on the educational side of uh, like physical, mental, business, veterinary, like every single thing you could possibly think of. They they help you with, and they they give you the facility to to train you with that um, and you know to be able to also um, train with one of my idols is like, amazing you know not not just training with Shane but able to learn um, bits and pieces from from Scott as well you know then you're able to find different ways of how to do it and what way suits you best and about the downsides of being um, a rider, uh, did you have any any doubts or any moments of discomfort during your career? Maybe uh, times when you when you felt like giving up or something like that. No, it's not an option. <laughs> I mean, there's there's hard days when when you're so tired and and you think um, this is really hard work, but. But then again, you come out the next day and the horses are there looking at you and you're like, you, you just can't not, not be with them. Um, but yeah, I, but yeah, that's just really long, hard, but it's definitely worth it. 
And what about, um, we already mentioned your decision to, to leave school at 14 to become a professional rider, a full-time rider. Um, how did this, did, did this decision came? I, I had always, you know, um, loved the horses. And when I, was, when I was younger, I actually was a swimmer as well. And um, I have to swim before school, then school, and then ride after school, then go swim again. And my, my mum was like, this is too much. You need, to, you need to pick one. It's either swimming or riding. Well, you yeah. love sports, so this is a sentence, okay? <laughs> and I was like, definitely riding um, is, uh, becomes first. So I decided to do the riding and then obviously then when I went away for the summer um, I rang my mum and I was like I'm not coming home. <laughs> well, this, is, this could be shocking for a mum. How did she react? She was okay actually. She was <laughs> not too, she was not too like worried. Like a girl. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, mom. Quite <laughs> that she's <laughs> relaxed because uh, a lot of parents would have said, no chance, you're going back to school, yeah, but yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been frightened by the idea of leaving everything like this all of a sudden? I think I was uh, too young and reckless maybe to have uh, <laughs> thought about no what fear. Was No fear, we like it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, I do think about like if if anything happens um, that I wouldn't be able to do it anymore. But um, I like I would always find a way to do something with related to horses. So. This is uh, yeah. really great. Um, mm -hmm. So there, would you say that there is nothing you would change in the path you've chosen so far? One hundred percent, not no. Mm -hmm. I would do, uh, I'd do it all again, you know, if I, if I had the choice of doing everything the same. Well, um, what about, um, is there, if you had a magic wand uh, and you could go back in time and live again one particular moment that was exciting or the happiest moment you would want to, to live again, which one would it be? Uh, it's hard to choose because <laughs> everything is exciting when the horses. Um, but I'd say uh, I'd go back to Olympia um, a couple of years ago. Um, I won the under 25 class there and then I was second in the final. And they had the final the class just before the Grand Prix, which Scott actually won that year. So I was like, full crowd. the atmosphere was amazing and it was really exciting. So you, you, you've had many exciting moments in your career so far. Uh, what about um, working with Shane Breen? What can you say about that? You started working for him when you were only 17. Yes, I, um, I actually met him uh, well, I, I always wanted to, uh, to work or train with him and then when I was 17, in 2015 I was down at the Sunshine Tour uh -huh. and I knew uh, one of his grooms he had there I was friends with and I said to him, do you think you could put a good word in for me because I'd love to, to come and train with Shane and uh, he spoke to Shane and Shane then came and watched me ride uh, one of the classes and he then came over to me and said uh, come over to Hickstead for a day and see how you like it and then uh, as soon as I got back I was bringing him straight away to, to sort out a day to come over and then I've been there ever since. So. And how do you feel to have somebody like Shane Green picking you up to work with him? It's great, you know. He, um, I've, he, he's always been one of my idols when I, and to have him, like, as my trainer and mentor is amazing. He, 
you don't just learn about the riding, but you also learn about business and the horsemanship and um, you know, everything. It's not it's not just everything you learn from him on riding, but it's everything else as well. And you said he's one of your idols. What about the other ones? Um, well, definitely Scott is one of my idols, and of course, Beezy Madden. She, she's um, incredible. I'd love to be able to, to achieve things as she has. Um, we just said that um, you're working with Shane Green. How is it like working at his tables? Um, it's, yeah, you... We wake up and we start at seven as well. And uh, well, most days, unless we have to start any earlier. <laughs> and then <laughs> I, <laughs> I, yeah, wake up, we go out and feed them. Everybody mucks out some stables. Um, and then we have breakfast from 8.30 till nine, uh, eggs and bacon every day. Oh. <laughs> and um, we ride um, until lunch and then have lunch and then ride again all afternoon until and then feed the horses again in the evening, um, normally around six o'clock and then uh, we're finished for the day. Wow. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, what would you say... Uh, is this experience helping you to grow up, aside from being a sportswoman, but as a woman in general? Definitely. Um, you know, be, having to be around um, such great business people and people that know so much from, from such a young age. Um, you, well, when, because I left at uh, 14 as well, it's like you you don't seem like you're uh, young anymore, you know, when you're talking to people, they're like, wow, are you really young? <laughs> like, yeah, but definitely it's, it's um, it made me grow up fast, but in a good way, it was really good. And would you say that uh, your career has really taken off after being trained by um, uh, Shane Green? Definitely. I, um, I only ever did one uh, ranking class before I was with Shane and um, ever since I've uh, been there I've done everything that I have always dreamed to have um, to compete to do and I, I'm not sure how many ranking classes I've jumped now but I'd say it's quite a few. <laughs> so um, how important would you say it is to have a mentor in sport? Um, so important. You you can never not not learn enough or, or know enough. And um, I think that um, every young young person should should have always someone to go to and look up to and and learn from. And yeah, like I say, it's not just learning from for riding. It's learning for being a real horseman and knowing everything about horses that you can possibly know. Of course, this is true and uh, you have to be very humble also if uh, you if you have some results uh, it's really important to stay humble because uh, in sport as in life uh, we are always improving and I think that uh, this is a, a very good uh, mentality for, for to, to, to improve. Definitely, yeah. Mm. But would you say that, um, as far as horse riding is concerned, that horses are are trainers too, in some way, to you? Definitely, like being around the horses um, every day, they teach you new things. Um, always learning with them, and then what? You know, they're not they're not the same every day. So one day they come out being one uh, one thing, and another day they can come out doing another, and you always learn from them and have to adjust to them. So I think it's, yeah, definitely they're, they're the greatest teachers of everyone. <laughs> and um, what is the best part of this sport, in your opinion? 
You can say horses if you want. It just being around horses and being able to um, build a bond with them is what I enjoy the most. Um, mm, we read something you said that the great thing about our sport is that eventually it's about the relationship you manage to develop with the horses. Um, what we were talking just uh, a minute before. Um, how do you establish this relationship aside from training? You said you spend time with them and what do you do with them? Yeah, just, um, you know, it, just brushing them and taking them for grass and uh, yeah. Um, and also doing things for them that they enjoy. Mm -hmm. I think not just uh, always getting on, going in the arena, making them work hard. It's not just that, it's, um, I think, you know, being with, around them the whole time. And I always give mine a lot of treats as well, so I don't know if that helps, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, what about uh, being part of the Young Riders Academy? You said it's really exciting and you're learning a lot. Um, what lessons are included in the program? What do you study? So, like I said we, earlier, we um, <clears throat> we actually this year we because of um, COVID mm -hmm. we haven't been able to do very much. So last year in um, October, I think it was, we went to Sweden for an educational lesson, um, and there we had. Um, uh, physical in the morning we would go outside and do it um, what like to be fit for a rider okay. uh, we had um, mental coaching which is really helpful um, we had uh, a, an equine lawyer come in as well which uh, was really interesting uh, you learn a lot and um, there was uh, lessons on veterinary and everything, yeah, and you learn, it's a really great thing to be part of. A program that includes everything of this Ev sport. Yes, everything that you could ever think of, they, they teach you. <laughs> um, how would you say this experience is different uh, from working with Shane Green? Because of course it, it's, uh, it must be different. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's uh, why I believe that you can never ever, uh, learn too much, and um, in learning all these different things uh, and in different ways is is really great. Um, I, I've learned so much from Shane over the past few years, um, and then since I've joined the Young Riders Academy, I've also learn all those new things as well which um, I maybe wouldn't have learned for uh, a long time so I think it's really great for young riders to be have the opportunity to be part of such a great um, thing. And what are your plans for the future? Uh, for the future? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I've always, um, everyone's dream is the Olympics, isn't it, I think? Um, so hopefully um, uh, be able to do um, senior championships and hopefully one day the Olympics. Um, and what are your plans for the weekend? You're in Gorla, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> um, there's a lot of good riders here this week, actually, because this is the only big show on this week. So everybody's decided to come to Italy. Um, uh, but yeah, I would. Um, <clears throat> I have um, three horses in the four star, and one horse in the under 25s. Um, so hopefully the in the top five of the Grand Prix. That is my aim this week. <laughs> okay, so good luck for, for your competitions this week.
But uh, is this your first time in Italy or? Uh, I came last year. I did two weeks in San Giovanni and then um, I did the in Gorla a couple of weeks ago. Uh -huh. And uh, last week I was in Montefalco. Oh, oh, great. Yeah. Did you have a chance to, to visit some cities or because of the COVID it's not easy? Uh, um, actually, the, um, after I rode this morning, I went and played golf <laughs> around in, and uh, yeah, but I am, um, and when, for the Nations Cup in Gola, the, no restaurants were open or anything, yeah. um, but then for Monte Falco and this week they're all opened up again, so hopefully um, get to go to some restaurants and eat some nice food. Uh, <laughs> that is the best part of Italy. <laughs> Um, so I guess we, we will be speaking to you soon to see how, yes. how the weekend went yes, and yes. good luck for your competitions. Thank you very much. And hopefully we'll be speaking to you soon. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you Bye, very Georgia. much. Thank George. you very much for thank being you. with us.